Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. Today we got a Ford Edge that's running rich and also has an EVAP leak. I'm Brian Nessick from How To Automotive and I'm going to walk you step by step through the process of how I figured out this problem. So stay tuned for that. This vehicle has codes for EVAP leak and also for oxygen sensors stuck in the rich position, bank one and bank two. Since I have bank one and bank two rich and an EVAP leak, I would suspect an overlap of these codes. So what I'm gonna do is go right here to the purge valve here. So, so I've already checked this car out in advance. I wanted to walk you through the process of how I figured this out. So I have a brand new part here to show you uh, what the possibilities could be. So I'm gonna show you how this brand new EVAP purge valve works. And one of the best ways to test these is with a smoke machine. So I have my Ready Smoke Machine by Redline Leak Detection Company. Uh, got it hooked up here and I'm uh, getting the smoke flowing here. And I also wanted to show you the, how this little machine works. So if you notice here, I'm putting my finger over the tip of the uh, flow nozzle here. And the gauge is going, the needle is going down. So I'm blocking the flow of the machine. And then when that does, the needle on the gauge drops down to a zero. And then when there's a leak, it goes up to the top. So that's what we're, we're going to look for when we hook this up. So I got this hooked up to the brand new valve. You can see the smoke flowing. And when I put the valve on there, with the valve not energized, you can see there's no smoke flowing through. And the gauge is at the very bottom. Now with a bad part or a leaking part, when you hook this smoke machine up, you'll see the, the gauge or the needle float up to the top. And then you'll see the smoke come out. So I've already taken off the old uh, purge valve here. It was held on with two bolts. And as you can see here, I got it flowing, and you can see the ball floating up to the top, and the needle uh, is raised up. And you can, see, if you look closely, you can see the smoke coming out. So if an EVAP purge valve is stuck in the open position, mechanically it's stuck open. What that does is allow the uh, fuel vapors from the EVAP canister to be sucked into the engine, causing the engine to actually run rich. So if our rich codes and our EVAP leak, the system can't seal because the uh, purge valve doesn't close to uh, seal off the system for when it tests it, so that's the leak. And then because the uh, the purge valve is stuck in the open position, it's sucking the, the, the raw gas straight into the engine. So that explains why the O2 sensors are stuck in the rich condition. So before we just jump to the conclusion and put the valve in, I wanted to make sure that the valve was not being commanded on by the computer. So if the valve is commanded on all the time and it's always activate it that may explain the reason why it got stuck so i'm just going to verify that it, that uh that is not the condition and it just malfunctioned on its own so the way i'm going to test that is i'm going to take a fuel injector noid light unplug the electrical connector for the purge valve plug the noid light into the uh, system and i'm going to turn the key on or you can start the engine if you if the valve is still hooked up and if the light turns on that means that the system is being powered on by the computer and I would suspect a problem. So the way this circuit works on this car and most cars is the it has a power circuit all the time. So you use the test light to test for power. So you'll find the, uh, the one terminal has power and the opposite terminal when commanded by the PCM will be a ground supply. So that's why when I hooked the Noid light up and I turned the key on and I didn't get a signal, I knew that the ground was not being supplied by the PCM. Now, if I wanted to verify that the PCM is capable of turning that on, I would just hook a scan tool up and push the test mode on the scan tool. Each scan tool is going to be a little different where to find that test mode, but they have that available. So in the case of this vehicle, it was just a simple EVAP purge valve stuck in the open position, sucking raw gas into the engine. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.